Fritz and the Beautiful Horses, written and illustrated by Jan Bratt. Once there was a walled city known for its beautiful horses. There were magnificent jumpers, splendid chargers, and elegant parade horses. The citizens were so proud of these horses that it was decreed that only the most beautiful would be allowed in the city. All others would have to stay outside. One of these was a pony named Fritz. Fritz was not beautiful. He had a long tangled mane, whiskers on his muzzle, and short legs. But Fritz was very gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. Day after day, Fritz watched the beautiful horses. Some had braided manes and tails and carried lovely ladies. Others had glossy coats and pulled grand carriages. Most of all, he watched the children's horses. As Fritz watched, he thought, I would like a child to ride me. But no one ever noticed Fritz. One day he climbed up to the road leading to the walled city. He tried to take long, graceful strides. He pranced and curved his neck. He threw his tail into the air. The citizens stared at Fritz, and then they began to laugh. Look at that silly horse, they said. Then the lovely ladies and the magnificent gentlemen galloped away towards the walled city. The children followed reluctantly behind. I guess I do look silly, thought Fritz as he hung his head in despair. Fritz listened to the citizens as they galloped their horses faster and faster. He heard their loud cheers as they rode onto the bridge to the walled city. All of a sudden he heard a loud snap. The bridge was breaking under the weight of the horse's pounding hooves. Fritz saw a large crack appear in the middle of the bridge. The citizens were on one side and the children were on the other. You'll have to cross the river, cried the citizens. But the children wouldn't move. My horse might shy and buck, said one. My horse might leap and stumble, said another. We might fall off, they all cried together. Stay where you are, shouted the citizens. We will come and get you. But their horses wouldn't move. This hill is much too steep, thought one horse. My lovely mane will get tangled in the bushes, thought another. We certainly don't want to get wet, all the horses agreed. Everyone wondered what to do. Then they noticed Fritz. Fritz carefully climbed to where the children waited. Fritz was not beautiful, but he was gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. The children were not afraid to ride him. One by one, Fritz carried the children carefully down the steep hill. He calmly stepped through the river from rock to rock and up the other side. He finally carried all the children to the walled city. A great cheer went up from the citizens. The lovely ladies cried, Hooray for the sure-footed pony! The gentlemen said, How kind and dependable he is! And the children exclaimed, We didn't fall off! So Fritz was given a special place in the walled city. All the children cared for him and became his friends. From that day on, the walled city was known for its beautiful horses and its very dependable pony. The end. Thank you for reading with me. Now we have a craft. Here's what we'll be making. For this craft, you'll need some cardboard or heavy paper. I just flattened out a granola bar box a marker, a pencil, some yarn or string, a hole puncher, or something else to poke holes in the cardboard with, a pair of scissors, and some things to decorate with, like construction paper or colored markers. The first thing you're going to need to do is draw your horse on the piece of cardboard. You don't need to draw the mane or tail. 
In the video description, I've also put a link to one that you can print out and tape on top of the cardboard instead, if you'd rather do that. Now cut it out. You'll need to get your hole puncher ready for this next step. If you're using something else, make sure to be careful with whatever tool you are using. Before that though, it might be a good idea to mark where your holes are going to be with a pencil. Make a line of holes for the mane and one for the tail. The openings in the cardboard need to be big enough for your yarn to fit through. Now cut off pieces of yarn that are a few inches long, then thread them through the holes you made, and tie each one in a tight knot. Add as many pieces as you want. Now's a good time to add extra detail to the horse. I'm just using a sharpie to make everything a little darker, but you can draw on things with colored markers too, or make things out of string and colored paper like a saddle and bridle, or maybe some decorations for the mane and tail. Now for a haircut. And that's it! I'm sure yours turned out great. Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next week. Bye!